Well, in the north of Iraq now, there is a civil war between Kurdish uh, factions and the so-called uh, safe haven is no longer safe for anybody. Uh, and apparently, the United States administration do not want to admit failure. They have failed. They have failed to provide comfort. They have failed to provide a safe haven. They have put themselves in a, <coughs> in a situation whereby there is no solution, but the North area should come back to the country, to Iraq. And this is the only solution. And we think, and we hope, this is going to be in the near future. There was no support by the international community for uh, the United States last attack uh, against Iraq. What is the, why is the growing the sympathy and support Iraq in the global world? Well, they, they got fed up. They got fed up with the US hegemony and short-sightedness. Uh, Iraq has withdrawn from Kuwait in 1991. And if the so-called Gulf War was to take Iraq out of Kuwait, well, that had taken place. And, and therefore, sanctions should be lifted, because this was the purpose of the use of force against Iraq in 1991. Now, we are now in 1996. There had been one million deaths in Iraq because of the sanctions, especially among children and elderly people. So this war, actually, is being waged. It hasn't finished in 1991, because the main purpose now is very clear, is to have a a regime in Iraq which would be subject to the United States administration. This is the whole objective of the whole affair. And people in Europe and everywhere in the world do not like that. Since the United States will always uh, went to punish Iraq is long, as long as Saddam Hussein remains uh, its leader, why, uh, what is the future of Iraq? The future of Iraq is, is uh, uh, Iraq is a very rich country. Uh, it has a very active population, and it has a national leadership. And people in Iraq love their leadership and do not like anybody to interfere in their inter internal affairs. 